Yeah, so, um, you know, last we knew, June, of course, in her desperation, sent a message to Earth, basically posting anonymously on a message board, hey, you know, Shiny's taken the March of Life and uh, somebody help, you know, she threw this uh, digital uh, message in a bottle. So a young woman, you know, sort of late teens, early 20s, whose name is Osira, she sees the message and she's in a hacker group called the Hopeless Day. And with her buddy Nighthawk, they start talking about the message and they say, did you see this, this weird posting on there? You know, people are talking about it a little bit. She has no idea what it means and nor does her friend who's kind of similar age. So he suggests they reach out to this older stoner kind of hacker dude who's from back in the day, as the kids would say. And so she contacts him and says, do you know anything about this? And he goes, oh, I know exactly what this is about. This was an artist named Shiny who's been exiled into space. You know, he wasn't really my cup of tea, never really liked his music, uh, kind of a kind of a prickly personality, definitely wasn't a fan. But you know what? I think somewhere around here, I have a demo that he made before he left the earth. Um, I could send that to you if you're interested. Beyond that, I don't really know much all other than he was, you know, canceled and exiled. As I've said before, if you remember, when Shiny is exiled into space, his whole life has been erased. You can find no digital imprint of Shiny on the planet. So it's not like she can go and Google him. So he sends her this song and she, you know, she's kind of a little curious and excited thinking this might be something you know, fun. She listens to the track. It does nothing for her. What she doesn't realize is that Shiny, in knowing he was making his kind of last will and testament song, purposely made a song which was sort of bland and hid coded messages in the song. In essence, it was a song designed not to attract too much attention because Shiny's fully capable of creating attention. So she listened to the song and, you know, she's a young person probably listening to a much more exciting form of music in 20 years on since Shiny's left the earth. And uh, she listens and thinks, oh, this isn't much at all. I don't really get what this is about. But as young people often do, they want to share their experiences. So she goes online and she posts, hey, you know, I, I got this, saw this message and I got this song from the guy and hey, check it out. Tell me what you think. She posts it as soon as she puts the message on, up, it erases. She thinks it's a glitch. She reposts, same message, everything, it erases again. Okay, now she realizes she's run afoul of some AI censorship thing. So she goes to the dark web and she's a hacker, so she knows kind of that world. She posts kind of a similar thing, albeit talking now about the censorship, and she expects basically kind of a non-response, like nobody's going to care because nobody really cares about Shiny. And if he's so important, she probably would have heard of him by now. And suddenly out of nowhere, she posts about this person and people come from every corner of the globe. Oh, I was a fan. Oh my God, he's amazing. Check out this song. Check out this video clip. Oh, this was a really important artist. Oh, you don't know about him? So now she's intrigued, not because she's a fan. In fact, what little context she's had of Shiny's music, she doesn't feel anything at all. But now she's intrigued by the fact that this significant artist was exiled. And a lot of people that she cares about seem to care about him. That is intriguing to her. And so she, in a return message back up to June in space, not realizing she's talking to someone in space, she returns the message and says, hey, you should know that people do care. And that's what sets our next uh, domino in motion. And so this song is Shiny's coded message to the world of what he's feeling and what he's going through and what he sees before he leaves the planet 20 years prior. It's very important. And it's a running thread through here. What is it that Shiny did or said, or, and this is what I'm positing, and this is your little cliffhanger on the 33 song musical Autumn, is what did Shiny represent that was so dangerous to established powers that have all the power? But we don't really have the power to wage war. We don't have the power to feed millions or billions. So what is so threatening about a singular voice and that is really at the heart of the story of Shiny. What is so threatening about a singular voice against almost unassailable power? 